Sometimes, instead of summarizing just one variable, we like to summarize two variables at once so that we can investigate the relationship that may exist between these two variables. I am now going to show you how you can summarize two categorical variables at once in Excel. What I have here is data for two of the questions I asked you on the survey. First question was which year you're in and you had the options between freshman, sophomore, junior, senior and fifth year. So that's a categorical variable. And then there was also another question that asked you whether you have prior knowledge of the statistics and you could say yes or no. So if it's true, you had prior knowledge and if it's false, you did not have uh, prior knowledge of uh, statistics. Now, I wanna see if there's a relationship between these two variables. Notice that they're both categorical variables. Um, and we wanna know whether um, there is a relationship between the two. My hypothesis is that the higher the class is, uh, the more likely students are going to be to have prior knowledge of a statistics, but I might be wrong. So let's look at the data and see what it looks like. So first of all, I want to put these two columns of data next to one another. So let me get rid of uh, the column that just shows the question. Then let's uh, retitle these two columns. For the first one, I'm just going to call it class. And then for the second one, um, I'm going to call it a stat knowledge. Then again, we're going to create a uh, tabular representation of this data. So we're going to use the pivot table. Um, I'm going to bolt these two so that I know those are the titles. Um, and then select my whole data. Um, there's a shortcut on uh, your keyboard. If you just clicked on one of the cells that contains the data and then click uh, and then push down control and then A for all, then it selects all of your data. Then you go up here into insert and choose pivot chart and pivot table. then it already knows where my data is because I first selected it. I'm going to uh, create my figures in the existing worksheet and I'm going to just put them here in cell D2 and click OK. All right, so we've got our empty table and figure. Now we should start adding elements to our table. Notice we have two variables, class and a stat knowledge. Um, let's bring one of these variables into our categories. So these are the classes, freshman, junior, sophomore. Actually, I wish there was a way to sort this better. Yeah, no. So we're going to have freshman, um, sophomore, oops, sophomore, oh, junior and senior. I like it better this way. Then we need to create our columns. So I'm going to bring the other variable into columns. So we have uh, the column label false and true for um, whether they have knowledge or don't. Um, since this isn't really clear, I'm going to relabel them. So I'm going to call this no and call this other one yes. So that's whether they have prior knowledge of a statistics or no. And I'm going to call this um, have prior knowledge of so never mind. I'm just going to make it bigger so we can see the whole title. All right, now we should start the counting. Uh, so let's bring one of these uh, variables into our value field. 
and just do a count. So uh, notice it says count of class. You want to make sure it's count. If it's not count, go to value field setting and make and change this from whatever it is to count. You want to make sure it is count. Okay, so this is the data that we've got. For um, freshmen, we have a grand total of one person. And this person has no prior knowledge of the statistics. Then for sophomores, we have 16 sophomores in total in our sample, out of which 10 do not have prior knowledge of the statistics and six have prior knowledge of the statistics. Then for juniors, we have 13 total juniors in the sample, out of which five didn't have prior knowledge of statistics and eight did. And then finally, we have four seniors and out of four seniors, all of them have prior knowledge of statistics. And the cells that are empty, those are just zeros. In total, um, out of the 34 students in my sample, 16 did not have prior knowledge of statistics and 18 did have prior knowledge of statistics. So that's how you read the grand total and that's how you read the numbers inside the table. But then, was my hypothesis true? My assumption was that the higher the class is, the more likely students are going to be to have prior knowledge of statistics. I think this table actually tells me that my hypothesis is true. Because look at it, when we are um, looking at freshmen and sophomores, you can see that the number of people who do not have prior knowledge of statistics is much bigger than the number of people who do. Now, if you look at juniors and seniors, you will notice that the number of people who do have prior knowledge of statistics is bigger than the number of people who don't. So uh, again, this is a way to um, summarize two categorical variables at once so that you can investigate the relationship between the two of them. Now let's look at our bar chart. Our bar chart down here actually um, is pretty nice. So for notice that uh, notice that the color of these bars is about um, this variable, whether people have prior knowledge of the stats or no. And then each one of these classes on the horizontal axis is going to be our uh, class variable. So among freshmen, there is no one that has prior knowledge of the stats. So there's no orange bar, but then there is a little a blue bar. Then for sophomores, there are more people with no prior knowledge of the stats. You can see that the blue bar is taller than the orange one. For juniors then, the orange uh, bar is, is taller, and those are the people who do have prior knowledge of the stats. And for seniors, we don't have a blue bar because all of the seniors in our sample actually have prior knowledge of the statistics. So it's all yeses, and that's why it's all oranges. Again, if you look at this bar chart, you'll notice that there are more blues to the left side of this and there are more oranges in the right side of this. The left is freshmen and sophomore, and the right is juniors and seniors. So again, you can see the higher uh, class the students are, the more likely they are to have prior knowledge of a statistics. Now, over here, I had a frequency table, but you could also create a percent frequency table. All you have to do is to go to your values field and go to the settings and go to the second tab where it says show values as and change it from no calculations to the percent of grand total. Then now you have percentages of the grand total, which means you have um, 2.94 percent of your sample that are freshmen and don't have prior knowledge of the stats. Or you have 23.53% of your sample are juniors who do have prior knowledge of the statistics. Now, this is percentages from the grand total. 
But if I wanted percentages within each row or percentages within each column, I could actually do that in Excel as well. So I'm going to go to the value field setting, show values as, and change my calculation from percent of grand total to percent of row total. Okay. Now you can see the row totals are all 100% because we're doing percent of row total. And this tells me that 100% of the freshmen in my sample don't have prior knowledge of a statistics. Or the second row tells me 62.5% of the sophomores in my sample do not have prior knowledge of a statistics, whereas 37.5% of them do have prior knowledge of a statistics. Now for juniors, 38.46% of them do not have prior knowledge of a statistics and 61.54% of them do have prior knowledge of a statistics. And for seniors, 100% of the seniors in my sample do have prior knowledge of a statistics. So if you look at this again, you'll see the bigger number is, um, is here for no prior knowledge for freshmen, the bigger number is here for no and sophomores, but then the bigger number for juniors and seniors is actually those who have prior knowledge. Again, this tells us that the higher the class is, the more likely students are to have prior knowledge of statistics.